Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CBYL. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price. And in this situation, it makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a good solid move. I can't imagine anybody saying uh, or thinking that it wasn't that good of a move. I think everybody would agree, good solid day. But that brings up the question, but is there any sort of true power behind this move? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce? I have no idea, but the good news is by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And it all revolves around a single level. And that's why I love me my charts, because it makes things very straightforward. And that level is right here at, we'll call it 60 cents. Why is 60 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true strength, with genuine power, the price is going to produce or progress forward, not go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly strong, it's not going to go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 60 cents. Any sort of closes below 60 cents, or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this range where it already was. Again, truly strong moves don't go back to where they were. They progress forward. Whereas let's say the price heads down here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down there. And if you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game, right? Truly strong moves make progress in the upwards direction. So if as long as the price you know, hangs above 60 cents, that is definitely what you want to see. Ideally speaking, meaning Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest? If the price can hold up above 65 cents, that would be the, the preferable area. But by no means is this the must hold area of support or anything like that. You know, that belongs to that 60 cent level for the reasons we've just discussed. Now, what about levels of resistance? Pretty straightforward here. The party stopped right up around here multiple times at 71 cents. Uh, I guess one time it did technically get a little bit above it right there but for the most part 71 cents is where it you know kept knocking down the price so that'll be public enemy number one going into next week all in all though very nice way to end the week so it'll be interesting to see if the bulls can build upon this momentum next week one of the most popular questions i get is hey clay how do you find the stocks that you trade so what i've done is put together this free resource guide where i talk about the tools that i use to locate stocks that i find interesting and think may have potential so if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader and by all means click right there to get access to the guide the guide itself is very short and to the point, and like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.